this is Geotech Land, and today I'll be showing off Ubuntu Touch 16.04 once again. And let's check out the version that we're running on here. So interesting thing, it says version 363, but it's probably actually version 262 here. Because the last update I did was 362, but for some weird reason it it told me that I'm on version two, 363. But it doesn't really matter. Nothing much has changed the last few updates. But since the last video I posted, the biggest good change here has been that the text is has been fixed on the browser so now it's not all squashed up together like it was so now the browser is usable 100 percent usable here and that's the biggest good news um now the other big thing that was needing work was gps and gps actually works a lot better now still for whatever reason it doesn't load automatically in Google Maps unless I first load it up in UNAV here. And the interesting thing, GPS has been perfected maybe the last few updates, but um the issue with GPS was that it would only it only loads in UNAV first, but it would take like maybe 20, 30 seconds, which was fine. But then these last couple of updates have made it so that it loads automatically, almost instantaneous. So that's really good. The only thing that's kind of weird is that unless I open UNAV first and load GPS, Google Maps will never load first. So let's take a look here. Yes, um, it's still, still kind of have a weird issue with Google Maps that... Um, if I boot up the phone and I open up Google Maps, GPS will never load unless I have loaded UNAV first. And so those are the things that work now. So it's pretty, it's getting pretty close to being stable. Obviously the biggest thing now is just getting the apps to work, but that's really something that they have to take care of with the the open store here so that they can have like 1604 versions of the apps. Now the biggest thing that it's still in UB ports control is to fix the camera. Still have the same issue. I think this is the one thing that hasn't been addressed at all, but let's say here, let's try to do a recording. Let's see here. So you still run into that same issue where it gets stuck there. Try to play it. It plays voice sometimes. Sometimes it'll just say not in the right format. I guess the only other little thing is that you still have a weird issue where if you flip this, it kind of just goes off into space unless you do something like this well still doesn't work okay see now now it works but still a little weird bug there but the only other thing now to look at is the apps themselves there has been some new apps that may interest you like a discord app and a dtube app here So DTube is looking good here. You know, you can see the trending videos and then obviously there's the Steam It app here. Let's see if I can find it. Steam It. For those of you that are fans of those, that social media site. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much it guys. Um, so in review here, GPS seems to work a lot better now, a lot faster. 
the text on the browsers has been fixed and so now the browser is usable the biggest thing that needs improvement is the camera or specifically the video recording and of course the app so it's very close to being stable and um, if you guys uh, like the video please like share subscribe and I'll see you guys next time